okay. uh, extremely clean diet, a peaceful life. I mean, they should not have any stress. They should do a lot of, they should do psychotherapy. They should do as many different things. But the biggest um, is they need their brain filtered. They need, um, again, good flora. I mean, I keep saying that. Um, they need really uh, a lot of proper eating and gentle medicine. I see a lot of young people with Crohn's disease. I do not take Crohn's disease patients, by the way. I always refer them out to Dr. Escobar or Dr. Cohen, and we work with that with nutrition. Because the medical doctors I work with, they, they are not, they don't know enough about that for them to comfortably write a prescription on it. Uh, are you saying that your um, your therapy now you have to have a doctor's prescription? Yes, ma'am. To have what you are doing, you have to have a prescription for from, from what type of doctor? A and medical we, doctor, a Texas medical doctor. They don't have any places down in San Antonio that has that client. Do mm -hmm. I wouldn't tell you that they do, but by law you need a Texas pres I mean a medical prescription. Really? Yes, ma'am. It is against the law to do it without. That. I had one done many years ago, but then back those days, everything changed. Now. Well, I've been doing this for well over 28 years. It's amazing what's changed in our industry. But you don't find a lot of medical doctors, though, that prescribe this type of thing. I have so many of them. It's just really? Me. Yeah, in fact, I just got a new one today, and he uh, first told me. Alternative doctors, then? Right? No, it's a medical doctor. He's a medical regular internist, and I have cardiologists, I have gastroenterologists, I have um, a psychiatrist. I got my dentist to do one. And my dent a dentist, yes. But they go, they're, they're actually alternative doctors. Nope. They? Nope. So, so no, no. They're doctors that are aware and they're really wanting to hear their patient's view and what's best for their patient. Most so I, I really wanted to come to, to get a colonic. I mean, what's our first step? You have to go find um, a doctor to. Well, well, just a second, Robin, I'm just going to correct you. I don't do a colonic, I do colon hydrotherapy. And the only reason I'm correcting you is because it is different, because doctors get real alarmed with colonic. Because usually it's unfiltered water. It's unfiltered water. It's done a little bit more in a harsher manner. Um, and that's really all I'm going to say about a colonic. I'd rather talk about the positive about it. The colon hydrotherapy is what it is. It's therapy. It's a quarter PSI to two PSI of a gentle flow of water that goes into the intestine. It is not blowing up the gut and emptying it out, blowing up the gut and emptying it out. It goes along with your rhythm with a gentle massaging of the water that goes all the way up into the gut, all the way in and out again. It goes with your rhythm so that your peristalsis can indeed clear it up. Okay, so it is a hydrotherapy. And it's done in less than 45, 35 to 45 minutes. It's never, should never be done more than that. After, studies show that after 45 minutes, we actually deplete the bottle of electrolytes. Mm -hmm. So we need um, a prescription for that. Yes, and it should, you know, most doctors put PR in, and it's good for a year. You mentioned Hernandez a couple of times, the people do No. But he, um, he's one of the doctors that um, does alternative health, and he um, prescribes a lot of these different um, nutrients, and he um, understands what the body needs for that. I, I don't recommend him, and I'm not um, saying that he recommends me. I'm just saying he was one of the doctors that uh, did a lot of uh, speaking on um, uh, detoxification and, and building up the system. I've seen a lot of people with Fernandez. He's a friend of a friend of mine. Oh, okay. So, just, just, I mean, it's amazing on how many uh, MDs really are in San Antonio that are alternative. So, I'm, I applaud them because they're taking a big chance. You know, they don't care about the radical. Ridicule. Uh, Dr. Hernandez is big on that. He a, he's, you know, he stands on his who, own. Who is this doctor that you're talking about? One of the doctors, Dr. John Hernandez. John yeah. Hernandez. He's yeah. a medical doctor on Thousand Oaks, isn't he? On Thousand Oaks? I think that's what he's at. Yeah. yeah. Just spell, spell the last name. H E R. H E R. N A N. N A N. Mm -hmm. He's D E Z. D E D. Easy. Easy. Oh, D E Z. Yeah. And you mentioned Dr. Cohen too. Yeah. Dr. Yeah. Cohen. Yeah. 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 Dr. 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 Cohen and Dr. Um, Esquivel. I, I really appreciate Dr. Esquivel. He's he used to work with um, Dr. Cohen years ago. He's still a medical doctor and still very much in the medical uh, business. He is a he, uh, he's a uh, what do you call it? Doc in the box. What do you call it? Emergency. <laughs> 
emergency he's big in that but I'll tell you he is so funny because he'll tell people about all this homeopathy if they'll ask for it and he tells them you know here's my number maybe there's other things you can do he's, he's a real hoop can I try to write a prescription please? Nope. no no if you want it, not in Texas, right? In Washington State, but not yeah. in Texas. <laughs> in Florida. In Florida, yes. In a, California, which yeah, was a real shock to us. Backwards. When, yeah. <laughs> when I was going to school in California, it was really interesting because they were really pushing license, license, license. I'm thinking, no, no, what are they going to do? And here in Texas, they come up with having a prescription uh, and licensing and all that. So, But it's really good. I mean, it brings more credibility to our work. And people that are real serious about colon health um, can get uh, proper work done and help themselves. And you shouldn't have to get colon therapy forever. It should be a seasonal thing. It should be when the body is traumatized, when the body is going through an allergy issue. Sometimes we do anywhere from um, 10, 15 colon therapy sessions to 50. It just depends on the individual and how many months and years that it takes to do that. So I really really promote eating properly, hydrating, giving yourself good oils, and helping your body cleanse itself. How does... Oh, Peggy, I'm sorry, she did raise me. Well, fine. Well, I just wanted to tell you that my husband and I have been to, to Susan's Center, and uh, it's like going to a spa. It's wonderful, it's relaxing, and she saved our lives. She really did. I give the glory, the glory to Heidi because without God in my life and, and, and the wisdom to know those things, I mean, really, it's him working through that. So but thank you. That's very sweet of you. I don't know if any, have any of these folks, um, do they know Michelle? Hart? Well, yeah. they came. They, those, three might have, those two may have come to. Michelle Hart does the thermography. The did the I come to the thermography class that I have here? <coughs> Uh, hydrotherapy for a patient with a yeast infection, mm -hmm. does that help any or huge, yes, it's it's huge. It helps again the probiotics build up on its own in the dissolve, you clean the system out and it helps promote the good bacteria baby. So it stops yeast from continually growing. We also do a lot of dietary issues with that and again we went. Thank you. What about children? Uh, as far as colon therapy, we, we do that. Um, I, I really promote a lot of dietary things with children. Um, if, if, we, if they have a blockage or we can't do dietary things and, and casserole packs and sitting on the potty and send all these around if you guys would like them. Uh, if I can teach them uh, by those means first, then I do. If not, usually about five or six colon therapy sessions of, um, with a child, and after they've done that and changed their diet, they're good to go, literally. <laughs> so much they, have, they do. It's amazing. Yeah. And a lot of the children that I see, are they have increases and they have um, emotional problems anyways. So I work with their doctor with that and diet. With their nutritionists. I always send them on to a nutritionist. It's really big to do. I, I will coach them, but if they have this issue that needs um, a lot of one on one, I will send them to a nutritionist that they can hook up with. Would you talk about allergies, Sam? You, know, you were talking about for the treatment of allergies. I've seen food allergies say that maybe it's been caused by, say, antibiotics. All the, every time that there's an allergen or food that um, a person is reacted to, it's because there is something in your gut that's stored. And so when it's stored in your gut, this is one of the main areas right in here and here that reabsorbs back into the blood system. So when it does that, it creates a ill effect into the system. So it, it um, again, breeds bad bacteria, and we have lots of bacteria issues in here. We need good flora in here just like we do the gut. So when the gut is full, when there's an issue in the gut, you will always have an allergy or allergen issues. So how do you, how do you remedy that? Clean the gut um, and increase probiotics, increase enzymes. Enzymes are really big in that. 
how do you use reflexology? How does that tie into colon? Reflexology, I use that actually during the colon therapy session. And the reason I do that, now everybody doesn't do that. I just choose to do that because it helps stimulate the organs to clear. Um, it helps the body to relax and the lymph system to open up. And when we open up the colon, the lymph empties. And so when the lymph can empty, all the rest of the organs follow suit, all the digestive organs follow suit. It's amazing. As I'm working on the person, and as their circulation is moving, uh, their body responds. It's like, we joke a lot about that. Uh, because if I can work on some people, I was just doing my normal thing, and once I touch their feet or the leg or area, reflex areas, they're cooking. I need to cut off the questions because we need to let Robin go on too. But thank you very much. This has been great.